Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I sell on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Kitizen, and recently Facebook Marketplace. And um, I've been doing this um, for about 20 years. Most recently in the past four years, I have been kicking it up and, oh, sorry, all these glasses. Okay. I'm going to take these off because apparently the glare is bad and I'm sorry if I blinded anybody, but anyway, I'm going to continue. And my Macari just went off. Um, I, like I said, I have been doing this um, for quite a few years, but I really kicked it up in the past four years. A um, little bit about myself. I am a mom of four. Um, I have three boys that are in their um, 20s and 30s and then I have a little 10 year old girl um, I have been a 911 dispatcher for the past 26 almost 27 years and um, in the past two years I uh, went hourly with my 911 position and I started homeschooling my daughter um, not because of COVID but just because our schools just suck here. They really do. Um, I live in the San Diego area like Matt and um, I'm not sure where he lives in San Diego but I live in what's called our East County area um, and so that's what I do. I'm actually really enjoying it and being able to resell gives me kind of the opportunity to be able to um, be home and make a little bit of extra money. Um, so my birthday was last week. I turned 50-ish. And um, what I wanted to do was just go out and thrift. That's what I wanted to do. So I did. Um, I've been, kind of been pondering whether to make a YouTube video. I've never been on YouTube before. I have never done anything like this before. I'm so technically inept that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to download this video and Matt's going to be able to see it. I, no idea, so I'm just weighing it. I, whatever. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. So um, I'm just going to show you a little bit about my haul. I do have a probably about half the listings up because I was pondering so much on whether to make this. So I'll just kind of go over it and see what we can do. Um, again, I do live in Southern California, so um, the stuff that we have is pretty good. Um, okay, so the first Thing that I got. Um, so it's a company called Brighton and Brighton is very boutique-y. Um, they used to be inclusively boutique, but then they started opening up in malls and airports and um, they basically do purses, charms, um, and then they started dabbling in clothing and shoes. So, or footwear. Um, so this is just a basic pair of Brighton flip-flops, and I got these for 95 cents. Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time because I haven't comp these. I have no idea how much they're going to go for, but um, they're Brighton, and they're my size. So, you know, if... I'm just gonna put these aside. They're really cute, so I just I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm so conflicted. Um, the next thing that I got, and uh, only the other pair of shoes, is these Bionics. And if you don't know Bionics, that's definitely a um, bolo. I'm using those such cliche acronym, terrible. Um, but it's reality. So. These are Bionics. They're just a simple little foot flop with a little bit of bling on it. And I got these for $4.95. These actually were on top of the garment racks or the clothing racks in the middle of a bunch of tchotchkes. And I'm telling you, that's where I've sometimes found the best stuff. So make sure that you're looking in that area. You're looking on the ground. Sometimes I have found some of the best stuff on the ground that's fallen off the hanger and just underneath and crumpled up. And yes, it needs a wash, but really it's good. I found cool there. We'll go over cool later, but cool. So, um, I paid, like I said, I paid $4.95 for these and I'll probably, I'll probably get like 25, 
they're in really good shape. The footbeds have a little dirt, but um, you can clean those up really easily and they'll be good to go. They've got the hook and loop and it's good. Bionics. Bolo. Um, so again, living in Southern California, I, um, I come across so much beach wear. Um, not beach, just, uh, just beach. Um, whether it be board shorts, swimsuits, boogie boards, surfboards, towels, umbrellas, I don't know, it's beach, you know, we're 24-7 here, 365, sometimes it's cold, but you just put a sweater on, so, um, I got the, so I found these, and Billabong's a great brand, it really is, but these days you really want to look for the hybrids, um, the hybrids are the really stretchy, um, shorts that are, board shorts that you can wear in the water or you can wear them dry. So these are the submersible, submer, sub, submersible, yes, I homeschool, um, submersible crossfires. And these are pretty good size, they're 34s and they're really great. They're in great, great shape. And so it's really odd to me because um, my thrift store is where I am, and I'm only speaking for myself. So in the beginning of the season, they mark their swimwear up to, these are $6.95. So mid-July, they mark them down to $4.95. We live in Southern California. We're going to be in the water for a long time. And so good for me. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So I paid four ninety five for these. I'll probably get at least twenty for them. It's easy money, and they sell like crazy. So another brand um, that I used to just look over. I never even thought about it. I don't. I have no idea why. And I don't. I think one day I'm like, oh, I'm seeing this a lot. What? Maybe I should just cop it. And I think Matt's talked about this, but this is a great, this is a great brand. So this brand is Link Soul. And these are the Boardwalker shorts. And these are amazing. These are the hybrid shorts as well. Um, they're worn um, for, well, they're, they're technically like a golfing short. That's what they're known for. Um, but they do really well. So I have sold three of them in the on my platforms. Three of them in the past week for 30 plus dollars. I, I can't keep this in my store. I, I really can't. Link soul. So the boardwalker. The boardwalker is the really good one because they're the hybrid and they're the stretch. And that's what's really in right now. So. Super good. Super. My goats are screaming. I have screaming goats. I already fed them. I fed them before this video. I don't know. What they, I hope they didn't get out of their pen. I, it's been a really long day. So I'm not going to apologize for this. I'm just I hope they didn't get out. Anyway, if you've never heard about screaming goats, just YouTube them. I've got two of them. I don't know why. Anyway, so continuing with Link Soul, I actually found a second pair today. Or not today. When I went. The last time. Thrifted. So Link Soul. This is a different. These are different. These are not hybrid. These are actually a cotton 2% spandex, kind of chino shorts. Um, they're a um, light blue and white plaid, or not plaid, uh, sprite, mm, one sip of wine, that's what it does. 
striped shorts. Um, these are 34s as well, as well as the hybrid ones. So maybe it came from the same person. I don't know. Oh, maybe somebody will bundle it. But I'm kind of excited about these. I've never found these. Um, I'm going to price them a little bit lower because they're not hybrid. So I'll probably get, I'll probably get about 25. Yeah, I'll get about 25 for them. So again, I paid $4.95 for these. So I say so a lot. I'm realizing that. Um, okay. So with the snow again. The next pair that I found has, if you watch YouTube and you watch resellers, you're going to know that this brand is very popular. Um, men's and women's, but men's always sell better for me. And that is going to be the brand. Cool. K-U-H-L, not C-O-O-L. Cool. So when I was going through the men's shorts, <sighs> fail, um, I saw this logo and I got, it's that reseller, like you freeze almost. You're like, <gasps> and you, <gasps> and then you go, okay, what's wrong with it? So I'm checking it out and I look at it and then I see the crotch and it's just busted out, it is busted out. There's no way I can fix this. There's no way I can buy that. Talking about some low hanging fruit, there'd be low hanging fruit all over that pair of shorts. So I just, I skipped it. I've never not picked up a pair of cool, but this is just, it just was not salvageable. So I swiped left, like, you know, 11 like 11 times and I came across these. So these are, these are the Renegades. Great pair of men's shorts. Um, they do have a couple flaws. They do have got a, a couple pulls, um, but they're still in great shape and they'll go for $30. $30. And, and I paid $4.95 for them. So easy. Cole, I usually... I find them. I'm not going to lie. Um, again, men's do better than women's, but I, I sell them all. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Um, okay. So this next brand I'm super excited about, um, being in law enforcement as a 911 dispatcher. Um, my husband is that in that realm as well. And, um, he loves this brand. So this brand is 511 Tactical, 5.11 Tactical. It is a tactical gear. This is amazing. So this is, I think this, is this a striker, striker shirt. I think it's striker. I don't, I don't know, but it's a great shirt. So it's not lightweight. It's not heavyweight. Um, it's just kind of that in between, um, it's a two XL, which is my husband's, um, size. So I'm hiding this. I'm not going to lie. So a couple of weeks, yeah, it's been about a couple of weeks. I found an amazing pair of, um, khaki green, navy green, military green, 511 board shorts, which I've never found before. And I found them for like $4.95. So I brought them home and they were his size. And I just happen to like be pulling my stuff out to take the tags off and do my inventory. He's like, oh, those are 5'11s. What size are they? I don't, I don't know. But, mm. So he grabs them. He's like, these are my size. Takes them out. He's like, wash them. I want to, because I wash, I really wash all my stuff. I, I do. Whether, I know, I hand wash, I machine wash, I hang dry, I, I, it just it doesn't matter. It just, if, if I'm going to sell, resell something, I want it in the best condition. And I really make it a point to make my stuff fresh and just in just good, clean condition. So, yeah, he liked them. They actually so uh, whatever. Anyway, he's not getting this. He's not getting this pair, this shirt. 
So, um, five eleven. We do have in Southern or in San Diego, we do have a five eleven store. It's really expensive, and I just I find this stuff like crazy. So it sells really well. Um, on that note, um, if you find in that your thrift store is anything tactical, any tactical gear, whether it be pants, shorts, shirts, vests jackets, anything like that, make sure that you comp them. Um, uniforms are really expensive. Yes, most agencies' uh, jobs get a uniform allowance, but it, it does not cover what you need. It really, truly doesn't. So whenever I find tactical gear or law enforcement um, or military clothing, apparel, I always comp it um, if I don't already know that it's going to sell, uh, and um, it tends to do really, really, really well. So just just make note of that. Um, this next, my goats are screaming again. I need to get my kids down. To deal with it. I don't know. Maybe once. I don't know. Anyway, this next brand, or we have a love-hate relationship. Seriously, a really love-hate relationship. Five or six years ago, I used to be able to get $50, $60 for the basic shirt. It's, it's shirts. Um, there are some blazers, jackets, and I have found those and I have flipped those, um, but mainly, mainly it's just shirts. Um, in the last, even in just the last year, they've really gone downhill in um, worth and used. They so it's got different levels. There's like eh, different levels. I mean, they can, new it can go up to like two hundred dollars or maybe even more. I don't know, but that is the brand Robert Graham. So I did find this one. Um, it's a long sleeve plaid shirt, basic. It does have some flaws. It, it does have some pulls um, on the shirt. It's almost like flannelly, flannelly. Uh, anyway, flannel type. Um, and it is a true Robert Graham shirt. See, it's, yeah, it's got some pulls. I am. I don't know. Um, but I got it for three ninety five. dollars So, unless it was like major flaws, like the low hanging fruit cold shorts, I mean, just I'll pick it up. I definitely put, will pick it up. This will, with the flaws, I'm probably going to get conservatively 20 maybe 25 But I paid three ninety five. Three ninety five, yeah, three ninety five for it. So, um, I don't know. It's a love hate relationship. I love to hate it. I hate to love it. It's just, it's just one of those things. I don't know. Oh, okay. So this next thing, I okay. So I mainly deal with clothing. Um, some hard goods. I do some pots and pans, some toys. I go through my daughter's stuff, and I. She's always going through those. She's 10, so she has those, I don't know, My Little Ponies. And then, what is it? Uh, Willis Pet Shop. And always going through those little fluctuations of what she likes. Um, she's getting older now, so it's more expensive. But, um, and then clothing, too. But, I don't know. Mainly just clothing, but I pick this up. This is a Camelback backpack, and I got this for four four ninety five. I don't know if you can see that four ninety five. So these, um, when they're selling you, they come with the bladder bags and used 
typically don't come with a bladder bag for obvious reasons. Bladder bags are what you use to fill up water, and then that's what you drink when you're going hiking and using this. It's mainly for outdoor activity. Um, so bladder bags typically are not, do not come with the used ones. This is an amazing shape. It needs a little bit of cleanup. I mean, just a tiny bit, but it's really good. All the bungee cords are intact. They're not frayed. Um, there's no rips. Um, I personally have not caught this. Um, so I don't know what I can get for it. I just know Camelback is like a really good brand. So I'm hoping at least 20, 25. I don't know. Like I said, I've, I've got to look it up, but my youngest son, who's 21, um, is just finished his basic training in the military, the army. And this is what they used was a camelback. So I feel a little bit of stuff about that. Anyway, proud mom here. Um, NFL season. It's coming up. I'm so excited. Um, I love it. Just, uh, another sale. Gosh. Maybe I need to do some YouTube videos. I don't know. This is like good juju. It's crazy. Um, NFL season. I love to sell NFL apparel. Um, it doesn't matter what time of year it is. It does well. So, um, and it doesn't matter what team. Okay. My 24-year-old likes the Browns. I'm sorry if you like the Browns. So, again, it doesn't matter what team or how they're doing. It's it's NFL. It's football. Um, this is just a simple woman's Philadelphia Eagles t-shirt. I got this for 95 cents. I'll get 15 bucks for this. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to hold on to it till NFL starts. They buy it year-round. they when you're committed to a team, you are committed to a team. Our San Diego Chargers are no longer around. Enough. Okay. So the la last brand um, that I got, uh, this is just an all-around good brand. And this is Harley Davidson. It's just a simple men's casual button-up shirt. It's got a Harley Davidson logo on here. It's got a simple skull and crossbones on the back. It's got some mesh going. So um, $3.95 for this. And I'll easily get $20. $20 for that. And so that's my haul. Um, that's what I do. Um, I do that to supplement this stuff going on right here um and it allows me to do so so i just want to thank matt um for challenging us i get it's a challenge i guess i don't know i I've, I've never been on video before i'm probably not even gonna look i'm just gonna submit this i'm not even gonna look back at it i'm not gonna edit it because honestly i i would have no clue how to edit it and um i go by the mother's den uh, that is my what I am on all my platforms, the Mother's Den. And um, I just thank you. And thanks for watching. And maybe I'll make another one. I don't know. All right. Take care. Bye.